Yo, what up YouTube Bunaris? This is Tin the Pro. Are you trying to get your beat from something like this? To sounding like this. If it's something that you're looking for, then you are in the right video. In this video, I wanna show you how you can master your beat from sounding like that to sound better. So let's get into it. So the first thing that I did, as you can see here, I was using Ozone 8. And then the, the way I used it in this beat is that uh, I just went in on into Ozone 8 and then I chose a preset. So let me show you how I did it. In the uh, When you reach Ozone, they're going to press Dispatch and then come to Genre Specific Mastering. And then from there, choose uh, your genre. So this beat, this beat of mine is a trap beat. That's why I chose trap. That was the first thing that I did. You can also try to, to change and then you can just choose anything else here. So depending on on your genre and depending on what you uh, on what sound you're trying to achieve. So that, that's what I did. So the second thing that I did here, I uh, uh, I was using Maximus. And then the way I used it in this, uh, in this beat is that uh, I just came here into the presets and then I chose Master 8. And then from there, I went here next to monitor and then it's, uh, there's a band here and then you click bands. The first thing that you want to do, you want to make sure that the low ends are at mono audio. So the way you can do that is that you can just press here on this band and then you come here and then on the stereo separation and then you turn it all the way to the right. This way, this bass is going to be playing what? On a mono track. And then from there, let me, let me show you. Listen to the bass only. We take it from here to here. Depending on what you're trying to achieve, that's where you can use this step. But you can also make it a, a stereo separate, s separated. There's no problem with that as long as you know the sound that you're trying to achieve. to show you that you can just choose whatever you can choose now i'm just gonna go with the separation the second thing that i will do i will come here on the on the middle band which is the mids as you can hear as you can see here is the mid and then we're just going to listen to the mids and then we can see if we can uh make them mono or uh, we can make them uh, stereo separated <laughs> I like it here now the other thing that you can do you can go to the highs which is this band and then you can also do the same I prefer it here I'm trying to make this video as basic as possible and as short as possible and then so far if you're enjoying this video and if you're learning something from this video just let me know by liking this video because when you like these videos uh you are making me uh want to make more videos that are going to help you in your music uh production journey so the last thing that i did i want you to listen to this plugins that i uh, that i just used let me take off uh the plugins and then you can listen to the original beat without mastering. With the mastering. Hopefully you can hear the difference. So the last thing that I'm gonna do, I'm going to try and remove all the frequencies that I don't like and add the ones that I feel like I should add. So I'm going to do that using what a fruity uh, parametric uh, EQ2 and then I'm just going to listen to the frequencies and then I'm just going to remove the ones that I don't like and make sure that you do not remove too much because you don't want to affect the sound so about 3 dB is fine so I'm just going to uh, take it to negative uh, 3 dB
guess uh, like it. the other thing that i can hear in this beat is that uh in the high frequencies uh, we don't have uh, too much high we have only uh the means and the low so i'm just gonna boost them a bit not too much just a bit <laughs> Yes, I like it so far. And then the if you can if you listen to this bit, you can hear that there's a noise that is added, but there is a noise that I added intentionally. But for this one that I don't like, I'm just going to remove it using uh, a a limiter. I'm just gonna use a limiter and then I'm just gonna cut that noise that I'm saying I don't like. <laughs> now the beat is ready and then i will see you in the next video make sure that you subscribe to this channel and make sure that you like this video because if this video reaches um 1000 uh, likes i'm going to make a free giveaway and then which is going to be um my sample pack and uh, my melodies and my favorite 808 and also the log drums and everything so make sure that you help this channel grow and i'm gonna make you the best producer ever see you in the next video